I need another eight sept septims. Or about 750, come on. Yes! <laughs> I've sold absolutely everything so that I have better armor and... Actually, I can wear them. And I have constant water breathing. Oof, but now I've got nothing. Mind you, I don't have anything to carry. I don't have any weight carrying me down. So that's good. Please have nothing good. I would be. I would be so pissed off if there was something even better here. See, this one is better than the one I sold, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We can we can water breathe. That is good. Uh, do I have constant sanctuary? No, I don't think I do. I get, I have swift swim, that is constant, I have water breathing, I have a tiny bit of shield from my amulet, and uh, some of it from my sorceress outfit, some extra personality, and the rest is pretty much, oh, my shoes. So, no, I do have a blur spell that I would be able to cast... No, I am not able to cast it because it's a restoration spell that's that's been changed, I guess. So no, no sanctuary for me. Okay, so this I'll try again. Dun dun dun. There we go. Saldor Ancestor. Reach the town of Vaughn. Once there, just go past the town and follow the road east. When the road turns south, go off the road and keep walking straight towards the hill. I'm gonna try that. So I continue past the road. No bugs attacking me, that's lovely. By the way, I have my blood tribute spell ready. See, I have a 50% chance of casting it. I'm assuming... No, my armor doesn't make a big difference whether I cast it successfully or not. Having my hands out does make a difference. I actually like that very much in 4NM. You know, in vanilla Morrowind, it was either you like this to fight uh, or you like that to cast a spell. And I think it was even worse because you would have to go M to stop readying your spell casting and then F to get your sword out. So switching between the two, horrible. Here, this is reasonably swift. But 4NM allows you to cast your spells directly even with the weapon out. However, it drastically, it does reduce your chance to cast a spell. So if I don't ready my spell, it's 53% chance. If I am ready to cast it, it's 75% chance. And let's see if I was to wear no armor at all. 77. Like I was saying, it's with with uh, with four and M. You you need to take the time to understand what's happening because otherwise, you you go there a hundred percent and you cast it and you fail and you go what the heck? Well, you fail because this is a spell, but you're wearing armor and you have your sword out. So obviously, you're not as good at casting your spell as if you were not wearing any armor and you were ready to cast your spell. And it it does make the game more difficult when you got used to being able to casting your spell at any time 
it also makes it more interesting and like you you really need to not min max your character but something along those lines do i like using light sources at night in torches or spells how do i feel i skipped questions sorry i'm like a dark seducer with a tinder account <laughs> I don't know, maybe, what's the Morrowind version of that? I'm not sure what it is. By the way, I do need a little bit of healing, so we're gonna try. I failed. I don't have enough magicka. Such things happen. What was the next question? Uh, how do I feel about Project Lies Skywind, a recreation of Morrowind with Scary Mansion? From, from what I've seen, we've talked about it uh, many times, so I'll give you my, my brief answer. I like what they're doing. They're doing great work when it comes out. I know I will play it. I know I will give it a try. I am also fairly certain that I will go back to Morrowind because Morrowind is home, because I can make my own mods, because it's my game. However, I'm quite certain that for someone who tried Morrowind and goes, nah, this is just too clunky, it looks too old, I don't like it. If they want to experience the stories of Morrowind and the world of Morrowind in a modern engine, then Skywind is going to be absolutely amazing for them. For someone who still plays Morrowind today, I don't think the need for Skywind is that great. However, the need for Sky Oblivion, as far as I'm concerned, is huge. Because I would like to play Oblivion, but I can't stand the engine. So playing it in a more stable engine, such as Skyrim engine, would be great for me. Do I like using light sources at night in torches or spells? Um, I'm, I, I want to say yes, but right now... I mean, is it too dark for you guys? Even if I cast something i can do my night eye there we go is that better with my night eye on okay when the road turns i continue south this is what i was told towards the hills i will find the entrance to a valley not too far ahead and the tomb is in the valley Let's do that. There's a little farmer. I don't know that anything looks like a valley just yet. It is the Thieves Guild quest, yes. enough magic out for my spell damn you blood killing bug killing is hard Kill the bug. Let me catch you. Dun, 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 dun. Down, down, down. There we go. The Morrowind version of Asuka is, is, in reality, is probably Mephala. You're right, that would be the Daedric Prince closest to it. Night. Oh, but hang on, there's also Nocto Nocturnal. I think Nocturnal is a good fit as well. I consider Skywind to be an awesome Morrowind mod. 
I'm still playing Morrowind, but the new and changed quest I seem to be promising in Skyrim should provide a new experience. Yeah, I, I will play it and I will be, uh, I will keep an open mind. And who knows, maybe, maybe I will spend some time there. It's uh, a while ago I played some more Oblivion. And for me, what I really liked about, I hated the engine. Okay, hated the engine. But what I really liked about it, because it was essentially Morrowind, vanilla Morrowind, but in the Oblivion engine, for me, it felt like I was rediscovering vanilla game with the Oblivion crashes. So, <laughs> and so I feel maybe with Skywind, I could get that first time explore, exploring Morrowind feeling again. We will see. Uh, my companion is Grim. He's, he's a mage and a healer. He's part of my friends and friends mod. He can heal me. He can cast spells. Uh, he's also quite weak, but I'm weak, so two weak people. Better. Skywind will be nice, but it won't be Morrowind. It's not, it's not Morrowind. It's a modern re-implementation of Morrowind. And I like the fact that like if you look if you take more Oblivion, which is also a tremendous project in terms of work, hours, skill, and devotion that the modders put in it. Um, however, when you look at it, you can see that they took the models from Morrowind, made them work in Oblivion, which was a lot of work in and of itself. Skywind they are actually looking at the models in Morrowind and say, right, what can we do based on that? So maybe somebody who's extremely purist and cannot stand the idea of anything in Morrowind being changed will not like it, which is a valid view. Those are mods. Use what you like. I appreciate that the Skywind team is doing their utmost to respect the original game, but make it something a little new as well. How well that is going to work? Well, I guess we'll find out when it comes out. Okay, and I'm still going that way. I'm looking for a valley, and that could be a valley, I guess. I mean, we have mountains and rocks over here, so maybe... I don't know that it really qualifies as a... Uh, maybe this, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you see what I see? What I see looks like a cliff racer. <laughs> we'll try. We'll see. We'll see how it is. I'd love to return to the alien kind of fantasy Morrowind made me fell in love with. Right. But not, I think nothing can, can do that quite the same. Because also, simply the fact that when you experience something for the first time, in and of itself, it's very special and very hard to emulate. I doubt it will happen, but I'm hoping the next Elder Scrolls games captures some of that magic. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Me, I have learned my lesson with Oblivion. Just don't have any expectations. Don't, don't get hyped about it. When you have the game, you'll play it, you'll see how it is, but don't get hyped. Comparing More Oblivion to Skyrim, my impression is that More Oblivion manages to keep the feel of the original Morrowind better. Skyrim engine... But that, that, goes, that goes in line with what I was saying. More Oblivion uses the same assets as Morrowind. Ah... Uh. And so it visually, it looks a lot more like it through a different uh, engine with a different render and all of that. Uh, but it's, it's, there's zero 
changes whatsoever. I think they may have modified some of the dialogue a bit to, to sort. No, I think there's simply no changes to anything. It's it's a faithful transposition of one game into a different engine. Skyrim, they they do they make some adaptation for the language. It's going to be voiced also completely, though there is a mod to have a uh, more oblivion voiced as well. It's it's a different engine and a different time. You're right with that. I've heard favorable comparison, for example, Dread Delusions. I haven't heard about it. Bethesda is hopeless. You need to look no further than their latest several releases. I I don't know. I can't really comment on that because I haven't looked at Starfield at the same time. I was not really compelled to and I didn't hear amazing things and the game was 70 quid and I still have things to play so I didn't see the point of spending so much money for a game that I didn't feel a great urge to play. Um, then what is there? Fallout 76? Fallout... I haven't... I've only played Fallout 1, a little bit of Fallout three again fallout 76 I boom, didn't care three four i didn't care i do have fallout new vegas and i do want to play that that is something that is ready to play it's a little bit modded but not too much um and what else is there apart from fallout and starfield elder scrolls online which i have played some and i have enjoyed it except this is an MMORPG, so playing Elder Scrolls Online, I am not looking for the same sort of experience as I am looking in a game like Morrowind or Skyrim. Starfield lost me quickly. Fallout New Vegas is fantastic. I've only heard good things about Fallout New Vegas, including from people in the Morrowind community. And obviously it's not a sure thing, but if a lot of people who love Morrowind so much that they mod it <laughs> to this day, love Fallout New Vegas, there's a good chance that I like it. It's not a sure thing, but still. The devs of Skyrim are unlikely to still be at best. Also, it changes. Like, uh, you, you're right that a company, especially in the span of 10, 15, soon to be 20 years, it's not the same people working. It's the same label, but it's not the same team. So it's, it's kind of unfair to compare it, in fact. Do you remember playing Stalker at some point? I did. I did play Stalker. You're complaining. Too much talking, not enough adoring you. Well, you know, if you come and settle down, I'll put the camera and people can see you. How about that? Nah. Nah, he's going in the corner, lying on the ground. Where nobody bothers him, I guess. Um, I did play some Stalker. I enjoyed it. It's Again, it's a lot more action, a lot more skill, like player skill based. And so for me, progress is slow, <laughs> uh, but I really enjoyed it. In fact, you're talking about Stalker. I have backed uh, the board game for Stalker. Um, I don't know when I'm supposed to get it, but I'm getting the Stalker board game. I, I liked everything about it, so we'll see. Hey, que tal? See if I can. Yeah. Up there on the shelf. Latte. Hello. That's that's where you'll be. Okay. Alright. I'm sorry, he's too far for me to Yeah, no, he's too far for me to put the camera. You you're not gonna you're not gonna see more of him unless he moves. Um Stalker, like the video game, I would actually happily go back to it when I tried it during a live stream. It was, was it a birthday stream? One of the 12 hour streams that we did. So I played it for three hours. I really enjoyed it. It was the game. It was not patch. I know there's a number of um, community patches and things. If I was to play it again, I would, you know, patch it properly to remove some of the bugs and things like that. Uh, do I know who Samia is? Yes, that's the NPC in Pelagiad, right? Pretty Bosmer. That's Ukraine. 
no, it's not true. And and the world in Stoker is, it's not like Morrowind, but it, it shares this this quality of being compelling enough of it that feels familiar. Morrowind, there's the, the fantasy aspects. You have your you have your elves and you have your your uh, humans and your swords and your shields and your fireballs. So that is something you're familiar with with the twist stalker you're familiar with you know the modern world but obviously there, there's a twist of fantasy magic technology weird things going on almost cthulhu like which is very cool as well all right let's uh <laughs> shall we it, it's fine and dandy that we're talking guys but there's a cliff racer that requires some attention and I will have one chance at casting... Who? Who? Who do you want to kill? Graham? Graham? You don't look like you're stalking... That's what... That's what you're fighting, Graham. Hello, Latte. Oh, but that hurts me so much. One bite. The Quirma took one I should have bite. You sooner. And that's basically half of my life. <sighs> yeah, she's the Bosmer in Pelagiad. I see the one. Uh, she has the, the robe with the, the spider. The blue robe with the spider. Bosmers are a bit cannibal, so there will be interesting things. Uh, yes and no, Ash Babes. Uh, Bosmers have the green pack that says you only eat meat, or rather, when you kill something, you eat it. And also, you don't harvest plant. However, if they're already fallen on the ground from a tree, then you can. It's the idea of you're not wasting nature resources. That being said, especially in the time of Morrowind, uh, not all Bosmers. Uh, still follow this and now I was hit and this is my biggest problem and I'm being poisoned my intelligence is being drained it will come back I think I hope come on intelligence of mine you're back okay but this has, has been damaged and I have no way of restoring my attributes. I think this is a priority. Even if I get a spell of restore strength one point, restore intelligence one point, and I have to spam that, then that's what I'm gonna do because at the end of every fight, even a simple one like that, I am so weakened that it makes things nearly impossible. So Cliff Racer over there. Let's sort of go more behind the rock. Because <laughs> I'm not ready for the cliff racer. Not yet. Um, after I solved the Tomb of the Snow Prince problem, I tried one of the new races added by Wesley. I think it's the exact opposite of Succubus. It's a white thing. White butterfly-like antenna. Oh, it's one of the early pixie races that he did. Uh, there's the, the light one and there's the, the dark one. <laughs> my character is not watching tiktok she does not her intelligence returned it was momentarily she does not neither my character nor myself watch tiktok Pascobara, hello how are you doing tell me what's new with you tell me every okay not maybe not everything tell me what you want to share how are you i'm going to try this. I got my little hands out, so my chances of casting the spell are increased. Uh, and if I'm very lucky, I'm going to do 20 points of damage to a cliff racer. Okay, and now I had, that's weird, the Cliff Racer has full health, but my health went down once, twice. I don't know if you saw it. Um, 
okay, maybe my character watched TikTok. And also is a big fan of Facebook. Because <laughs> my intelligence is now at zero. I think I was hit on the head quite badly by the cliff racer. Mercury Bard, hello. Just popping in to say hello. Hi. Life crazy as usual. My father passed, so dealt with a recent memorial. I am so sorry. Had one family reunion, another coming up. Oh, that, that's, that's harsh. I'm really sorry about your father. I hope the family reunions are an opportunity to feel better with your family rather than something that drag you down further. Really. In other news, I might die to a cliff racer. Not, not nearly as dramatic, obviously, but a lot more entertaining, I guess. Involved in buying a truck? House Renault's? Wow, okay. That, that sounds pretty crazy, so I'm guessing that doesn't leave a lot of time for Morrowind, does it? Not too much time there for, for Morrowind. Even though Morrowind is always a top priority, we know that. Yes, Latte? Why am I not equipping my weapon? There it is. Oh, look at that. I paralyzed the cliff racer and it sort of drifted away, but also that exhausted me so I couldn't move anymore. Do it, Grim. No, Grim, do it. Oh, wow, that killed me. <laughs> Kill me dead. We knew that would be the case. Did I quick save? Hopefully. I, I did. I did. Yes. I knew the cliff racer would be a challenge. Unfortunately, like it looked like I did absorb the health. Like I got healed. I got healed, but I don't think the cliff racer suffered any damage from it. But you have been catching up on fantastic Morrowind modding showcases and the great mod by the mighty Danae and others. We had the main modathon. Um, and so that was pretty epic in terms of mod. Uh, I'm especially pleased with the modathon. We always get, I think there's more than 100 mods that were published in May. Uh, I was especially pleased by the number of quest mods. I. I think they're still the sort of mods that I enjoy the most. I, I like the pretty, don't get me wrong, and I do have a bunch of mods that make things prettier, more interesting to look at. But I've come to the point where I would rather have three new buildings in a town, and each of these buildings adds add a, a quest line, new NPCs that have things to say, stories, quests, stories rather than a whole time being overhauled into something incredibly pretty and interesting to look at. But then after a while, you don't look at it anymore because you just go to the shop, you just go to the quest giver. So I prefer I prefer quest content over... I don't know if you can hear my cat. Latte! Is, is that so terrible? Is life so hard? Nobody, nobody is paying attention. Uh, so quest, that that's that's what I prefer, and especially with the number of mods that we have now, if a mod is going to add a building in town, it better serve a purpose for me because putting a mod in town means that there's a bunch of other mods I won't be able to use. Lucivar, you are working on the mod. Is that a quest mod? What is it? Do you want to tell us or or you want to keep it secret until you're, you're done? I know sometimes it happens for me. I work on a mod and I'm all about it. I'm all about it and I'm modding and it comes easily. And then I mention it. I make a whip thread or something. And then I feel like I have to make the mod because I'm expecting it. And so sometimes, at least for me, I think it's better that I just shut up and make the mod the update oh no i did see that and yes i am so looking forward to it provincial bath shop is i mean korana korana has been my favorite modder 
for the longest time, I, I, it doesn't even matter if her mod compared to the new mods that we get. Arongir Korana inspired me to, to mod, uh, and I love everything she's ever done, including in Oblivion. Uh, I remember a couple of house mods from her. I, I used them. Uh, same thing for me, except it wasn't my childhood. <laughs> exactly the same, minus the childhood. I was I was already an adult, a young adult, mind you. So that counts. <laughs> See this pedestal of mine? Korana is on it. Okay, so we, we are a happy trio, at least a trio of Korana fan fan uh, people, fan modders, uh, but for sure Corana totally inspired me and the Provincial bath shop, bath shop, love it and I absolutely adore the update that you've done. I saw today you mentioned quests, can't wait, I absolutely cannot wait. In fact, I might need, when your mod comes out, I do I want to do that? You know, wares, if you have wares, Korana, you can find the shops and some of the cushions. Maybe cushions is not from the bath shop. You can find a bunch of soaps and towels and things in traders around town. But if you make an updated version of the provincial bath shop, it might be better to make the items unique to the shop. You'll tell me what you prefer, actually. I, I don't really like when there's only one place in the whole world where you can get an item. For me, that makes no sense. Um, but uh, but tell me what you think. I've decided that every mod I create with people living somewhere will have the chamber pots from Corona Sanitaris condition. <laughs> nice. You'd rather have them spread around. Okay, so I won't update wares in that case. And I don't think I made it so that there's loads of soap, soap around. It's quite rare to find them in shops, so it feels it feels all right. Okay, good. Me and the Cliff Racer, part two. No. Why? Why did you fail casting the spell? I can take two hits from this guy. That's it. Yeah. And I can't have a second potion. It's a really, really weak potion anyway. I don't have spell points. I already got hit on my head. I'm dead. I am very dead. With minus 100 stamina. Let's try again. I think I quick saved too close to the bloody thing. And it spotted me. I can dodge them at the last moment. I... Maybe I should practice dodging, but my stamina goes down so quickly. Uh, I'll try to run away first. This this is the way. This is the way I'm running away. Well... Okay, Grim is borked, but that's okay. You okay, Grim? Okay. Right shift. Right shift? How do I even get to, to right shift? Left shift is when equipping a weapon, remember it for the left hand to use it for throwing, activating. Uh... This is a dash. You see, my, my dash is so weak, I'm not sure that I would, assuming I, I time it properly, I'm not sure that I would successfully dash. I'm not sure I can even do a side dash. I, 
I don't think dodging is a good strategy for my character. Priority dash over dodge. Hold down the special mouse button to change it. Okay, we'll see. Automatically kick after a dash. Automatically do a dash. Charge weapon. Smart mode for range weapon. Aggressive mode for your kicks. So maybe uh, allow projectile control. Remus. Always shoot a crossbow alternate mod. Maniac mod. Undress no. Automatic shield equipment. Yes. I I don't see something. <laughs> Don't, don't have your attributes damaged. Don't have your intelligence, strength, and agility and speed go down to zero after one fight. Enemies. Sure, sure. Mm, no, I already put no good modules and you see I, I did things right because I put number of per points per level three hardcore level I mean pussy mod no restriction three advanced leveling system skill training yes fatigue multiplier yes what teachers realistic hit chance sure ah Maybe this is what I need to do, at least until I'm a little bit stronger, because right now I get hit once. If I survive the hit, one of my attributes is halved. Why do I have CCCP here? That really shouldn't be here. That really shouldn't be here. Hmm. That's, I think that's what I get in, uh, you know, in my mod organizer. I have like more than 600 mods installed. And then for a particular install, I select the mods that I want. Um, and you see, I forgot to deselect this one. So I will have to do that because for sure it's going to be messing things up. With two mods trying to control my attributes, that's not going to work. Okay, so dashing is not the solution, we know that. My blood tribute, even with my spells ready, is not doing much damage. What maybe could work? There we go, so you can see what I'm doing, you can see me die properly. Grim, why are you bork? I need you, I need you to be alive and kick in so you can go after that cliff racer for me. Are you at least teleporting to me? So long as you're following me in your own way, I'm happy. I was told that the tomb is in a valley. I mean, I thought that would be it, but it's a river. I mean, yes, we'll walk that way and see what's happening. Let's try that. What do you see? The mud crab. Sure. Well done. But now you spent most of your magicka on a mud crab we could have avoided. It will get the meat. <sighs> huh. 
Has all of Morwen been completed in Tamriel Rebuilt? No. Not all of it, but a seriously good portion of it. Here's the map. So this is Vardenfell, base game, Blood Moon, base game, I mean, you know, DLC. And all of this is Tamriel Rebuilt. We're missing a little chunk here and a pointy chunk here. It's definitely more than 50% of the way. Um, and it's more than that because recently the Telvanni Isles have been redone. They've been updated to today's standards and Skink is right this bit already has the exterior landscape cells mostly done it just doesn't have the interiors the NPCs and the quest uh, but you know they, they've started work on it so a lot has been done south is still really empty but this bits have you know things going on quests and creatures that kill me also Uh, Julien, you're saying, you guess, one perspective on depth in combat is like, how many keys can I press to trigger animation? Another one is, how many modifiers like spell and equipment can I use to augment my ability? And I learn to, and I lean towards the letter. If that's what you like, I think 4NM is a good fit for you. Um, there's for combat, melee combat, there's such a thing like if you go forward you have a higher chance of doing crits, if you go backwards you have higher chance of blocking and defense, if you go sideways you have a higher chance of dodging, like there is a lot, it's very very involved, you can go with dual wielding which is cool, uh, you can do combos, so far I don't know where you've seen when I, when, when I was hitting the, the bugs, there was, a, there was a little health bar, tiny health bar, on my cursor and number one i think that's the number of combos i was getting you can combo when uh, when you hit successfully multiple times which i was not doing <laughs> um magic does all kinds of really cool things that i like uh, also it's it's a very very involved mod but fun like it's worth understanding what is going on even though it can be frustrating if like me you die a lot um and it's a bit intimidating like what the hell is going on here but once once you get that i think there's a lot there's a lot um questions is tr friendly to a new character or should be a higher level before yes uh exactly what skink says senna Depending where you are, it's fine. Uh, I find that the quest in Old Ebonhearts were okay. This part, honestly, is not particularly particularly deadly. It's because of the mod selection I have and how unoptimized my character is that I have a hard time. But without 4NM or with more skill when playing, um, you would be fine at, at level 1, I would say. A lot of attention is being paid to Narciss, I believe, these days. Um, uh, I think, yeah. Uh, what, what is the name of the next update? I'm sure. But to answer your question, yes. There's a lot of Tamriel rebuilt. The new Telvanis area went from being low level to really not. Probably because Telvanis Isles were the first, the first maps one day. Okay, so there's a cliff racer. There's also the crab here. And there's another one there. Hey, Grim. Let's do let's do the crabs together. Oh hello. You're friendly. You're almost cute. You're friendly, right? Oh, they are so cute. This one has eggs. And they don't kill me, which I really, really appreciate. Tira is amazing. My favorite mod project. Full stop. I mean, just the scope of it. The scope of it is incredible. And then when you think... 
No, wrong spell. When you think that hundreds of people have contributed... Oh, come on, change the spell. I think I hit the rock. That sucks. Yay! I cast a spell on a mud crab. I don't think I can do it again. Woohoo! Epic fight against a mud crab and we won! Now, if you're just joining us, you would think, oh, come on, it's a mud crab. Of course you can kill a mud crab, even if you're level two. If you've been here for the last three hours, you will know this is an amazing victory. I successfully cast one spell. I successfully blended one hit, hit with my dagger. Epic victory. That's what it is. I didn't get hit on the head and kept my intelligence. No, this is, this is, let's quick save. It's magnificent. Um, also in Vivek. In the Vivek branch of the Mage's Guild, the Mage's... Yeah, there's a guild guide for there. Um, and there's also the quest that we use. I mean, there's the guild guide. How did we get there? What did I do? We went from Old Ebonheart. Ebonheart to Old Ebonheart? Is that what we did? I forgot completely. Uh, Huskobar, we were talking about Skywind a while ago. And they also have a very large team. I think the, the biggest difference between Tamriel Rebuilt and Skywind in terms of what sort of team they have is the fact that Tamriel Rebuilt is not a team made of people who can code, who know game dev, uh, professional voice actors. They are quote unquote just mothers, right? Uh, I think Skywind has a team that is more professional, that of course they, they might not be professional in their personal life, but the technical level is probably higher, which can be explained by the fact that the engine is more complex, that it's 20 years later and people know more about it. But Tamriel Rebuilt is really, really amazing. During the um, 20th Morrowind anniversary, when I did the podcast, with a bunch of people. Uh, one of those podcasts was with Nomi, who is currently uh, leading Tamriel Rebuilt project. And uh, he explained, he had loads of information as you can imagine, but he explained that Tamriel Rebuilt actually predates Morrowind. Like <laughs> They started talking about recreating Tamriel around Vardenfell before the game was out. So Morrowind was 20 years old and Tamriel Rebuilt was 21 years, which I thought was very funny. Which Elder Scroll is the best to conjure when in trouble? The Mud Crab. They're helpful in the pinch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do I have a conjure Mud Crab spell? I do not. And that is a shame. That is a shame because it would probably be very useful. Considering how difficult it is to kill one, they are clearly powerful and mighty creatures. Uh, one thing I do not know, I don't know what this bar here is. It appears after combat and I don't know what it is. It slowly goes up, down, up. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to either find it in a documentation or, or be lazy and ask uh, Axe Magister directly. I don't know what is the purple bar. It goes up slowly. It, could it be my, my focus? My chance of victory? I wish. I don't think that's what it is. Interestingly, my poison arrow is cheaper to cast. My odds of success, low. Grim is uh, repaired. He 
still has spell points. All right, Grim. This unfortunately doesn't look like the valley that was mentioned. I don't think there's another crab here. And I won't be able to attack it from this distance. We have a scrib. Oh no, my poor kitten. So this here, oh no, that's not it. From Vol, we continued, the road went south and I continued straight on. I must have missed a step in the directions. What is it, Latte? Express yourself. Tell us everything. The internet is listening to you. Nope. I guess he didn't have all that much to say. I'm looking around a bit aimlessly if I see something that looks like a valley or a tomb. Again, I thought these rocks would be it, but it's a river and the description did not mention anything about a river. I might have to go back to wall and try again. Maybe when it's not night time, so we have a better view of what's going on. That's the way we came in. And over there is still the river. Which is not, I mean, technically a river, well, often flows in a valley, but I think if it was close to a river, the directions would say so. <gasps> Do you see what I see? No fish? Let's go. Oh, and I, I was looking for the health bar, but no, I spent all my money. One pearl. I spent all my money on an amulet, so at least I can uh, I can breathe on the water. In fact, it might be safer for me to just swim in the water. And here we get the the fish from Abbot's mod. Very very pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to save here and I'll have to pick this up. Look for tomb. That's what we're going to do next week. I think I will simply walk back to Vol and try again to follow the directions from there and hopefully find the place. And also I hope that there won't be too many skeletons to fight because if today was any indication, we're not ready to fight skeletons. We'll see how it goes. Um, the evolution of crabs go from the brown colored from Morrowind, the skinny one in Oblivion, to the lunar crater in Skyrim. They, it's true that the mud crabs have had quite a bit of an evolution, but then if you look at creatures like the Daedroth in Morrowind compared with Oblivion, they're like completely different beasts. Um, and they are a bunch of different crabs as well. Uh, there's the, the mud crab, the sand crab, the sea crab, uh, most of them added by Tamriel data. Hang on guys. Oh, here we are. Latte, make it done. Now, now you settled. <laughs>